A little tiny battery. I love stuff like this, man. Um, anyway, you know, in other countries where there's much more poverty and not as much statutory, uh, you know, give me money for a license, give me money for a fine, give me money for a certificate, give me money for a class, give me money for a violation, kind of feeding the city on your statutory rule mongering stuff. You know, there's places where that is not the case and entire ghettos are built out of, you know, corrugated iron and cardboard and, uh, you know, and it can be really horrific, and I guess that's what they don't want here in the United States. Um, but, you know, I don't know, man. If left to my own devices, I would have been fine. You know, I would have had a thriving business and a wonderful social life and a place to be and you know, all that stuff. But I don't, so. And I don't know why I keep holding this thing in my mind, like somehow you get out of this system and somehow find a place that you don't have to pay so much freaking rent or, you know, there's like nothing in the city. Everything is owned. Everything is owned. Every square inch is owned and locked up and, uh, you know, fenced off and patrolled and. But there's got to be, you know, there's places that are, are, people don't pay their taxes, they get abandoned, the city takes them, they have them for years and years and years, and I don't know. I, I, I've been looking, trying to figure out how they work these auctions and, and all these bank foreclosures and all that. I can't figure it out, man, and I'm a pretty bright guy. It all looks to me like another middleman, another scam, another internet traffic driving bullshit um, anyway I, I, I don't know why I have that that feeling like I just know that if left to my own devices we could build a home <laughs> you know I know I could build a home I, I know it I, I it's just that we're not allowed, it's not legal to build a home unless you follow all these codes and, and rules and laws and, and you have to own the property, and it, you know. Just, uh, it puts existence almost out of reach for people like me. You know, it forces us to the, to the perimeter of, of existence and, you know, start seeking you know, uh, institutionalization as a, as a solution for the, your inability to, to function in a system that really doesn't give a shit of whether you make it or not. And um, the institutionalization is really not a very good option because, uh, believe it or not, it's, it's not easy to get either, you know? I've seen people so crazy they can barely tell you their name, you know, like living in the street, who have advocates, who have case management, who have applied for disability, who are, have people actively working to get them into housing, and, and you know, they're there for years. Now, I don't know, man. Anyway, I've applied for disability four or five times and should have been granted it each time because I've looked at the, the quote-unquote blue book, the, the thing that they're supposed to look at in order to gauge whether your claim is valid. And, and I have like four or five things out of each list of categories that qualify me for disability alone. And my biggest problem has been doctors and documentation every time I would get, you know, and sometimes it takes years to set up a bunch of doctors and, and have them follow you and do all these tests and, and come to some conclusion as to your diagnosis and how to best treat this situation. And, you know, I've had doctors actively 
work against me and tell me they're not going to fill out the, the disability papers. And if they do, they're going to make sure I don't get disability. And, you know, I had some really messed up people, man, trying to give me some really messed up medications that really would have messed me up. And it was a mess. And I said, uh-uh. No, thank you. You take this crap if it's so good for you. You take it. They don't like that shit. Yeah, they don't like that. Um, actually, I'm a little more eloquent than that, but that's basically my point. Um, I'm bambling, rambling. I'm going to get a cup of coffee and go home and call all the numbers I just collected. I've realized that, that this behavior, this daily routine behavior that is predictable, uh, observable, is, uh, you know, how hard is it for these people to put up signs that I'm going to find and have us move into some kind of crazy situation again? That's the fear inspired by the repeated trauma of past experience. Um, then there's the hope and the faith that maybe the Lord will reach down and make it all better somehow and send you to a place that's going to be uh, more amenable to uh, your existence and requirements. Anyway, thanks for watching. God bless you.